fiber to fabric objectives at the end of this video you will be able to define fiber and different types of fiber explain the meaning of fabric differentiate between natural and synthetic fibers describe the production of plant fibers and explain the techniques of weaving and knitting hello everyone in this video we will discuss about the chapter fiber to fabric for class 6 have you ever wondered what material people used in ancient time for clothing? They used to wear animal skin, bark or leaves of trees and fur to cover themselves. Later on, they learned how to weave cloth by twisting things. After the invention of needle, people learned how to stitch cloth. Fabric Children, you have to understand the basic difference between fiber and and fabric. Fiber is a single hair like strand where fabric is the cloth that is produced by weaving or knitting fibers. Have you ever had a closer look to any fabric? You must have seen many yarns. These thin yarns made of thinner straps that are known as fiber. So fiber is a single hair like strand. Based on their length, fiber can be classified into two types, staple fiber and filament fiber. The fibers which are short in length are called staple fiber, example cotton, and the fibers which are long in length are called filament fibers. All human made fibers are filament, example nylon. There are mainly two kinds of fibers that are natural and synthetic. So let's discuss about the natural fibers. The fibers that obtain from plants and animals are called natural fibers. Cotton, jute, silk, all these are examples of natural fiber. Synthetic fiber. Human made fibers are known as synthetic fiber. Synthetic fibers are mixed with natural fibers. This is polycotton. It is a mixture of polyester and cotton. Rayon, polyester, nylon, acrylic all are example of synthetic fibers and rayon was one of the first human made fiber. Now let's discuss about the production of plant fibers. Jute. Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant which grows best in sandy and clay soil. Jute is sown in the rainy season and harvested after 6 months when the plant start to flower. After harvesting, the stems are tied in bundles and soaked in water for 2 or 3 weeks. This process is called ritting. Once the ritting is complete, the softened fibers are removed from the stem by hand. The fibers are then washed under clean running water and hung up or spread out for drying. Jute fiber is used to make a number of objects like ropes, bags, carpets, doormats and many more. Next is coir. Coir fiber is obtained from the outer covering of the coconut fruit that grows on the coconut palm. The outer covering of the coconut is called husk. To obtain coir fiber, the husk is removed from the coconut and soaked in water for up to 10 months. The softened husk is then beaten to get the coir fiber. The golden coir fibers are then spun into yarns. These yarns are used to make mats, floor covering, garden articles and ropes. India and Sri Lanka are the world's major producers of coir fiber. Cotton Cotton is a soft fiber obtained from the seed pod of the cotton plant. Cotton seeds are planted in the spring season. When the plant matures, it starts flowering. Next, the flower develops into spherical sized fruit or you can say seed pods. These are known as cotton balls. Seeds are present inside these cotton balls. Each ball mature and the cotton fibers on seeds grow to their full length. Picking of cotton balls or harvesting occurs only after the fiber inside the balls have fully dried up by the heat of the sun. Gening is a process to separate the cotton fibers from the seeds. The deseeded and cleaned cotton is pressed into bales of shipment. Cotton fibers cannot be made into a fabric directly because they are thin. As a first step to make fabric from the cotton fiber, we need to convert it into cotton yarn. 
which are longer, thicker and stronger. The yarn is then woven into a fabric. So we have to understand what are the process to making cotton yarn. One of such process is spinning. Spinning is the method to make yarn from fibers. It involves drawing out fibers from the bundle of cotton and twisting them to make a yarn. After spinning, the cotton yarn is used to make fabric. Spinning is advantageous as the fibers are held together by the spinning process and this makes the yarn strong, smooth and fine. Charkha or a spinning machine are used to do spinning. Yarns can be made into fabric in a number of ways. Weaving and knitting are the two most popular process. So let's understand weaving. Now what is weaving? Weaving is the name of the whole process of interacting two sets of yarn at right angles to make a fabric. A fabric can also be made in many other interesting ways. Knitting. Knitting is the name given to the interlooping of one or more sets of yarn. Knitted fabrics are more stretchable than woven fabric. They are used to make t-shirts, sports pants and socks. Knitting can be done by hand as well as by machines. Thank you for watching.